Hello, and welcome back to The Broken Doll, and tonight I come to you with this slew of dolls here. These are, I think, what they call Patsyette Babies. Yeah, Babyette. Ba Patsy Babyette by F&B. And there's four of them here I've had for quite some time. They're up now for res restoration. So I'm waiting for my doll head to still dry from the first coat. Um, it's been so humid out. My, um, I, Like I said, I like the winter because it's so much drier, and my paint dries fast. This is nothing for in the summertime for my paint to be like this, uh, the spring or whatever. During it, it, we got a lot of humidity. I'm in a I'm in called I'm in the area of a lower lower valley and we get the, the humidity seems to come down and hit down on us like that. So that's very typical. But anyways, these are four little uh Patsyette baby. Baby Patsyette I think it's called. There's four of them here. So they're all up right now. Whoop, right now for restoration. Yeah. Patsy Baby yet. That's what they're called. So this is Patsy Baby. Um, Patsy as a baby. Baby yet, I guess. So there's four of them here that I'm going to, going to restore. Like we're going to start the procedure on them and get them going. Um, also, I want to talk to you about this little gaffer right over here. This doll right here. Can you see this doll here? I'm going to get it so you can see a little bit better. There we go. I need another pair of glasses. I just said that a few minutes ago before I started this video. And I never did grab them. I talk about it, but... I don't do anything about where's my glasses. Some, I got a pair on me right now, but I need another pair. Oh, I had one a pair on here. Let's see if I can find another pair around here. They're somewhere. I should have been prepared. Oh, here's a pair way over yonder here. Okay, I'm going to go yonder and, and get myself another pair right here. Okay. Oh, I got about two, three pairs over here. Okay, that's where they all are. They're all over here, the other side of my, of my uh, shop. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to get down to this bin, and I just saw a beautiful box of uh, dolls back in my closet. I was in my, um, where my computer is, in my house, and I was just hanging up some doll clothes. I was going through some stuff, hanging up some stuff and whatnot from the last video I made um, with, uh, out in the backyard there, and um, in their nautical, I was putting some nautical clothing away, and lo and behold, I saw this box, and I just opened it up, and went, oh, I want to get in there. These dolls I haven't seen in years. Year, I'm literally saying it's been years. Um, I've been at this now. This is going to be almost 13 years coming up. And um, they're, they go back to 13 years ago. I bought these about maybe 10 years ago, a decade. And they've been sitting in this box. And I'm just like, oh, I want to get my hands on them. Anyways, let's find out what this doll is all about here. Let's see who this doll is. It says on the back here, Aaron B. Uh, Dighty, Dighty Baby. That's who this is. This is Aaron. I, th I thought it was a Dighty Baby. I wanted to make sure before I just go spewing it off. So this is Dighty Baby. Dighty Baby goes for quite a clip of money, too. Um, not like this, though. This doll has an old rubber body on it. And when they have these old rubber bodies on, they're really no good to... You cannot restore them. You can do what, what you want and feel how you want about it. But you're never going to get this doll to look like the day it was made. So what do you do? Well, because this doll has no neck, you see it goes flush to the to the to the neckline there. What I'm I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it so that it cuts down around here. I want to take its all all of its um history on the back of the doll. Come back up here like this. Come down here and go right across and come back up and make a chest for the doll. Then along life's way, I'm going to try to find. I like well, what I might do is just get a cloth body. And I'm going to have to look for some composition arms along the way. And we'll dig out its little eyes. You know, I don't think it needs a repaint. I mean, I mean, it's a little, yeah, rubbed and everything. But it looks lovely just the way it is. I might just do some cleaning up of it. Blush a little bit. Touch up the lips. And we're going to leave it at that. And um, <clears throat> I think this doll is quite nice the way it is. Nothing's lifting or anything. I think it's oil paint on here. It's an original paint and everything, um, but kept very well. And it's composition and everything. Clean out its mouth, too. Take a Q-tip in there, my little tiny Q-tips, and go clean its tongue out and everything and get the dirt out of there. And I think this doll's going to show up pretty. Get a nice little cloth body for it, which I might have around here. I'm not sure. If not, order one for her, and we'll get her, you know, you know, she, she won't be original, but she'll be better than what she is just laying like this. This is no good. It's done. And you have to know have to know when to say enough is enough. Now I am going to treat this with some type of oil. Um, I don't know. I'm going to look up what what is best to put over old rubber. You know how to restore old rubber. You know and see what would be the best for it. But I'd like to come right down around here and take its information and go up. Keep it on this here, and that way I've got its uh, history. 
and then able to glue that on top of a body. If it, if I buy like a reborn body, I can sew up the neck line, the neck hole and um, put this on the outside so that this is seen. And then we know it, who it is. It's Didi Baby. Hey, it's not exact, but it's, it's the best we're going to be able to do for this doll. But um, wonderful, wonderful. You see a lot of these dolls that are made for the, with this rubber body, shot. I see a lot of them. But she, this Didi doll does have some value. And um, not in the state like it is, and not in the state I'm going to put it either. It does take its value down. But then it does lift it up more than what it is right now. In this state, and what I'm going to do to it, it will give it more of a value because why? It's going to have arms, legs, a body. And that will va put its value up more than what it is right now. This came in a lot with these ones here. A grape, I bought a lot, it's called. And in there was something like 13, 14 dolls. And I paid something like $75 for the whole big box. There's more. And I remember this box. And there was a whole bunch of them in there or something like that. I think that's how, if the, this is the one I'm thinking of, if, if I got it correct. And, um, uh, there were a lot of lovely old dolls in there, but just in bad condition. So, yeah, so this one is going to be up for um, restoration now. So that's going to be wonderful. And I'll have myself a nice little Didi doll. I don't have one. And I'm not paying the price they want for one either. <laughs> it's just too much for me. You know, I just don't want to put it out. It's, it's a lot of money, Didi Baby is. She's not cheap. So how are we going to begin this? You know, this, this little mess of babies here. Well, one thing about them, they're all the same size. If their arms and legs get legs get mucked up with one another, it doesn't matter. They're all the same. These legs are all the same. There's nothing different about them. They all were given the same legs inside the factory. So if I was to take them all and just put their legs, arms, take them arms and legs off, take their dirty little gowns off, it doesn't matter. Their gowns are pretty much shot. Now, I'm going to keep them. Not, don't get me wrong. I am going to keep these little gowns. But um, we'll see how they wash up. Let's see. Maybe I can make them look good again. Um, make some little shoes for them out of some cloth material. See if I can take a pattern off of this and make them some little baby shoes, you know. So we got some thinking to go on here. Now, let's talk about their hair. This is called Caracule wig. That's what this is. It's a little curly wig they gave the babies to try to represent baby curls. I don't like them. I really don't. I'm going to be honest with you. I just don't like them. I have many reasons why. Well, a couple reasons. Maybe I'm going too far on many, but I do have some reasons why. First of all, I don't think it's very becoming on the doll. I just don't like it. I don't like the look. But I found out some history through Sherry, um, Dodie's Dolls. She, her name was Sherry, and she was telling me, she said she, she gave me an article about back in the day when they made these wigs and how they took the babies out and just killed them. They actually would even take them out before they were ready to be born. And they just beat them on the head and that was it and took their, their, their wigs. Now, they took their wigs, <laughs> right, took their, skinned them and got their fur off them or whatever and made these little wigs with them. It, it was uh, an article about how Caracul was made and how it was used for many things. And um, they were talking about newborns. They were not talking in this article. It did not state it's, it said, it had a picture of it being done, and I didn't want to look at the picture. I put, actually had to put something over it. And because I didn't, it had the, the mother goat, or yeah, the mother goat, I think, as, or, or sheep or whatever, standing there as they were doing the procedure on, on, on I was just like, no, no. And, and when I read about it, it angered me. So that's my second, that's my, actually, my number one reason. But I do not like the look of them. I, I, I don't know how you feel about it. I don't like it. So they're not going to have them back on. That's me, Okay. Um, maybe Caracule is rare on these dolls. I don't care. Um, they are not going to have these wigs put back on them again. They will stay with them. If I was to ever to sell them, their Caracule wig will go with them. If I was to sell them, I'm not sure yet where I'm at with it. But if I was to ever to resell these dolls, their, their wig will go with them. If the person wants to glue it back on, go for it. I don't know how it's going to be when I take it off, if it's going to come off in one piece anyways. And if it doesn't, I'm not really going to be upset over it. You know, um, I think it's, uh, I, I don't know, I'm not into to animal cruelty. They actually had to stop the practice because of how cruel it was. Um, it had to be stopped. And laws passed. You can't do that anymore to, the, to animals taking out babies before they're ready to be born. Just for their, their this little bit of fur, a little bit of hair, you know. But um, th that, it was actual law or something. I was reading in the article that it was stopped because of how the cruel, people complained about the cruelty of it. So this was a time and period when these wigs came out and then it stopped. It was, you know, might have went 20, 30 years and then finally people were waking up to it and saying, no, 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 don't, no more. 
no more. So you'll see these this end. This type of wig will end at a certain time period. I don't know how long it went into history that these dolls had these wigs, but it did stop. And um, the procedure stopped as well. So anyways, a little bit of history. You know, I'm an animal lover. Um, you know, I know we, we eat animals. I want it done humanely. Um, you know, but at the same, I'm not going to go into that part of it. Um, but this is my, 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 my thinking on it. I don't need it on. I don't like the look of it anyways. I'm just being really honest. I don't like the look of it. I think it's too many curls for a little baby. <laughs> too many for me. Anyways, so um, I'm taking them off, but they will stay with the doll if I get them off in one piece. And like I say, if I don't, I'm okay with it. So anyways, we're going to begin this. A little bit of history always helps us to understand about these dolls and their wigs and how they're made and blah, blah, blah. Goes, you know, it all goes together. So i got to get a little bin here. Oh, I have a box. I found a smaller box. Boxes are great too for all these little dolls. I got boxes going on here with all kinds of dolls in them. So let's get this beginning. I got my box now. It's sitting down beside me here. There it is. You heard the clunk of it. Here, let me get it. Okay, it's right between the tripod. And we're going to begin this. Now, there might be several parts to this. So stay tuned for more to come. And um, let's get going on this here. So. Let's start with a little doll here with no legs. Let's get this off of her. Let's see how she's put together. And, oh yeah, she has a dried up old um, elastic here. Let's see if we can get this off. We should. Actually, I'll just snip it. I'm trying to be nice about it. They're just going to get original stringing. There we go. And this is off. Well... Should be off. There we go. Okay, so that's done. She has no ties around her neck, so that's not too good at all. And we'll take this little dress off of her, a little pin in there. There we go. And we pull this off. So they had her arms up to her head, done up to her head. There we go. Now, that's not the way I was taught when it comes to small dolls. Well, oh, I see what it was. Okay, yes. Okay, it's one string that goes from arm down to legs. On small dolls like this, it should be one string, like one, one elastic, thick elastic that goes from head to arms to legs. And that should work. So anyways, there we go. That's off of her. And we have her clothes over there. Let's try this little gal now. Got the old, somebody put some newer snaps. These are maybe not original to her. They could be. Little girls could sew back in their day too. They were taught to sew young in life. Maybe they were the ones that sewed them on. Maybe it was grandma or maybe a mama. Put some newer ones, you know, on there. Boy, these are rat-a-tat-tat, -tat, aren't they? There we go. If they could only talk to us, these dolls. There we go. Where's your little feet? Oh, there they are over there. Look at the little diaper on her. Isn't that cute? Oh my word, that is a cute little diaper. I'm going to keep that for them. I'll copy it and make another one. If the, all of them don't have one, if the rest don't have one, I'll make sure that they get one that looks like this one here, the same size, because it really fits well. Cut some nice material out and make a little diaper for them. There we go. Look how thin that was. Just a little little square rag. Okay, so let's take these shoes off. So we can see the tootsies on them. There, there's one little shoe. Oh, all her little toes are there. You never know what's hiding underneath a shoe. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to take and cut the little string, the, the elastic, or maybe I can just get it off of her here. Boy, this elastic is dry. Dry, dry, dry. Nah, I just got to cut it. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, so dry it just breaks apart. 
you don't want to play with the arms too much longer because yeah it's all one one elastic on this it's it, well, actually it's it's a band that's been put together type of thing put together very well though oh yeah it's just falling apart it would be just a matter of time in these doll this this would have been all um you know um let's get our box here now we're going to put all the arms and legs down the bodies down There we go. Where's these arms? Leave their heads up here. Okay, let's get the next one going here. All right, time for number two. I like her little dress. It's really cute. This is a cute little dress. I like the bonnet and everything. Okay, we undress her. Where are we at for time? Okay, we're at 15. Coming back with part two. Oh, let's go down a little bit. I don't think you've been seeing much there. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. 